In Odessa, Texas, one half mile away from the McDonald's on East 42nd Street, just off of Preston Smith Road, is where you can still see Home Depot in the distance. And that is the spot right there, where you have arrived at a near replica of Stonehenge. Officially titled University of Texas of the Permian Basin Stonehenge, it was built in the summer of 2004 by stoneworkers Connie and Brenda Edwards. The university thought that a nearly full-size Stonehenge would make an amazing teaching tool, as well as a year-round tourist attraction for the city of Odessa. The stones are limestone slabs about 19 feet tall, weighing in at 20 tons apiece. The Permian Basin Stonehenge is slightly shorter, though, than the original. But other than that, it's an exact horizontal size, as well as astronomically accurate. An interesting fact is that the vertical stones are not one piece to save time and money. They stacked two stones and used heavy machinery to put the pieces in place. The original Stonehenge in England is believed to be an astronomical calendar, but no one is really sure of that. It's one of the greatest mysteries of the world. June 21st, 2004, on the summer solstice, teams made sure the sun was properly positioned through the exact designated archway in Odessa, Texas at this Stonehenge. And this was the moment that ensured the monument was in sync with the Stonehenge in England. That is, after extreme mathematical positioning. It wouldn't be an accurate replica if it did not align with the stars in the same way. Stonehenge in England draws more than 1.5 million visitors each year. Well, in Odessa, Texas, the city alone has a population of 114,000. There is no reliable approximate count of how many people have visited Stonehenge in Texas. So if you're ever in Odessa, Texas, make sure you stop by and see Stonehenge. You won't regret it. These are Interesting Things with J.C.